Alright, uh, let me on the croc, let me on the croc! Uh, Dinosuchus, let me on you! Uh, can you stop swimming? Thank you. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ark the Center. Last we left off, we tamed that little spider thing after we failed to find a Civ Ethereum. But, since then, we've done some off-camera work, or I've done some off-camera work. So first things first, as you can see, there is a wall around my base now. So we shouldn't have to worry about Pegos or, or anything like that, or Dillos ever again. So we shouldn't have to worry about that. Let me show you the spider real quick, before I show you what else I've done off-camera. Here's the spider that we tamed. You know, I'm gonna name you real quick. You can be... Candy Cane. Candy Cane the Spider. That's what I'm gonna name you. There we go. That should be good. In today's video, I'd like to tame one of two things. I'd like to go back into the ocean and either tame a couple of Zephactinus or a Tylosaurus. Depending on which one we see first. So if we go into Tylosaurus, there's the saddle for it right there. Very expensive, but it's, it is what it is. And Zephactinus. I'd like to tame a Tylosaurus as soon as possible because right now it's a knockout tame, but the thing is, the mod developer did say he was they were that they were gonna change that at some point, giving it a special way of taming it. There we go. That's that's good for now. I'll do the other side later. Anyway, notice the building is actually taller. So if we go up here, there's a ladder. And I found this in a drop. We finally got an industrial forge. It's on top of the base because I have nowhere else to put it. And then if we go over here, you notice there's a set of stairs on the balcony that weren't there before. Go in here and boom, we've got an industrial grinder as well as some extra space for the, the stuff and whatever. We've got a bunch of wood in here, a bunch of metal, a bunch of fiber, crystal, cementing paste, all the resources we could ever need. All right. And also, something really cool that I figured out. You might be wondering why the refining forge is um, working and active, but there's no wood in it. Well, you see the pyromane. You can thank the pyromane for that. Now, as long as a pyromane is nearby, you can just use the pyromane to basically light fires and whatever. So if you have like a campfire or a, a regular cooking pot nearby, then you can just use that. I'm just going to go ahead and take all these structures, grind whatever I have. All right. Let's go pick up the gecko. We got this rainbow gecko. And then we got the normal gecko. I think this is the gecko we had to begin with. I'm pretty sure. All right. So who do we... We should probably take the Dinosuchus, right? Because it's big enough... Because if we find the Zephactinus, we could just use that. Because the Zephactinus will just grab the Ichthyosaur. Pull me away from my Ichthyosaur. And we don't want that, so... We'll take the Croc. We'll take the Croc because we can shoot off the back of it. And it's too big to be picked up. So we should be good to go. Also, I've done some more off-camera work. Let me show you what I've also done off-camera. And then we'll officially... Wait, I need the mask. And then we'll officially go out and try and find either a Zephactinus or a Tylosaur. And it's good that I forgot that because I also need kibble. I want to show you what I did in the Redwoods because I, I built up a base camp there too. Set up camp. I'd like to see if I could find a Tylosaurus as well because, like I said... The mod developer did say that they were going to change the taming method. And because right now it's a knockout tame, they're going to change it to a special way of taming it. Which, I don't know. Taming creatures the special way with, like, how they're meant to be tamed. I get what they're trying to do with, like, immersion and whatever. But it, like, depends on the creature. If it's something straightforward, like, say, the Dinosuchus or something like that, then then fine, but if it's something convoluted, like, say, the Fasilisuchus, then 
then I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, like, it actually depends on the creature. Like, the facile Asukus was a pain to tame, if you guys remember from Scorched Earth. Uh, I think it's either about to start raining or it just stopped raining. One of the two. I hear a, a Diamantinosaur. We'll have to check it out. We have it starting to rain. Alright, we got a little hut here. I can go in, and this is where I store all my sap and whatever. And at some point, honey, because that's where I'm going to store the honey. And then if we go up these stairs here, I know it's a bit trippy, but if we go up these stairs, this is where our sap is. So if we collect the sap, we got 20 sap already. We're getting a little closer to being able to make sweet veggie cakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave this stuff over here. So yeah, that's basically our camp. And now... a game. Game. Thank you. I wanted to see, oh, I wanted to see that Diamantinosaur, what level it is. Because I am looking for a high level one of those. That's that's a 145 Diplo. Beautiful colors. Okay, and okay, what level are you? 20. Let's see if I can go ahead and eat you. Get that gigabyte going. Just to make room for a higher level. Ouch! Guy must have armor. That did 1600 damage. We have about 100,000 health, so we shouldn't be too fussed. What was that Dire Bear? 95. That 145 Diplo I might tame. I might go ahead and tame that at some point. Alright, let's uh, officially go out and. Let's officially go out. And try to find either a pair of Zephactinus, high level, or a high level Tylosaur. I'd like to tame one of these dolly things at some point, level 100. I don't think they'll really do much, but there'll be something anyway. We got a Prion, level 55. Now, the Zephactinus kind of like to spawn basically in open water. They're like very fast when it comes to swimming. I think that's a Megalodon. I thought that was one right there. Level 45 Sferna. We got some Megalodons. We got Dunkelosteus, 135, 90. That's a Shastasaur. What level are you, good sir? If you could be a high level female, I could tame you. I don't know if you're like super aggressive or anything like that. Okay, you're a 45, alright. I'm gonna kill you. That's how you do it. There we go. Make room for, say, a high-level female. I don't know if I'd want to get an imprinted version, but we'll see. I think the Zephactinus do tend to spawn in, like, the surface. We got Dunkelosteus everywhere. Where the hell were you guys when I was trying to tame one of you? We've got Uncle Dunkel. We don't need to worry anymore. They usually like to spawn near the surface. A game. Game. Thank you. There's one right there. What level are you? Game. Game. Thank you. 130. You know what? That's perfect. Alright. That's a 130 female. Alright, come on. Kick that Megalodon's butt. Alright, I want to kill the Megalodon without killing the Zephactinus. Now, these guys are here of very low health, but, yeah, very high torpor. Alright, that missed. Of course, that missed. Alright, direct hit. Awesome. We just need to tank this guy. Oh, we can't really see with the blood. These guys are fast. Luckily, this guy is, like, by himself. But in, like, a pack, they're vicious. That's kind of why I want to tame these guys. Alright, that was a miss as well. If you could stop moving, that'd be great. And not be inside me. Alright, we're still hitting him. That's good. 
if I was hitting the Dinosuchus, the, the tick would have been yellow. Alright, now he's back to moving again. Alright, we seem to be doing a lot of torpor to him. Alright, that was a miss. That was also a miss. Missed. Okay, could you stop moving so I can shoot you? Alright, a couple more hits and we should be good. And down he goes. Awesome. Or she. Alright, that's the first one taken care of. Let's go ahead and kill you. How much time do we have till you wake up? 37 minutes. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. How much kibble will you take? Just the one. It says you take just the one, but I'll give you a couple of them just in case. Just in case. You tamed right away. You tamed right away. Okay. Wasn't expecting that, but okay, whatever. That that was pretty easy. All right. All it took was the Dinosuchus just tanking the guy. This was definitely the way to go, using a Dinosuchus. All right, there's a 15, so I'm going to kill the 15 real quick. Okay. Of course I... Of course the bite missed. Even a level 15 can do some damage. That's a Megalodon, I'm pretty sure. Yep. All right, so we found two of them so far. Usually these guys are everywhere, and they travel in, like, packs and whatever. There's one right there. Oh, hello, max level female. You might not be a male, but you know what? We'll take it. I game. Game. Thank you. You're beautiful, too. You're like pink. Yo, the Axeman would have loved to tame you. You're pink and you're a max level. All right, we got a Megalodon attacking us. All right, Megalodon, I'm going to need you to piss off, buddy. All right, how do I go about this? Kill the Megalodon without killing the max level. Is a fact in this, because I kind of want that. I don't want to do the Gigabyte, because that'll kill both of them. All right, I kind of got his pattern going. He goes back and forth a bit. All right, keep tanking them. Yeah, they're fast, these guys. So, so far we've got two females. We might have to restock up on arrows before we do anything else. And maybe repair my crossbow while we're at it. But we'll, we'll be good to go. Alright, that was a miss. That was also a miss. Alright, that was a hit. Awesome. Alright, I think... Will this hit knock it out? And down he goes. Awesome. Max level female. Alright. You take the one kibble, I think. There you go. Huh. Strange. The last one kind of tamed up almost instantly, but this one... This one isn't as fast, for whatever reason. Hmm. Hello, Basilosaur. That's a 140 female. Hmm. Should we go after a quick Basilosaur? I mean, I've got kibble. I've got extra kibble. We don't even need this much kibble. You know what? Hmm. It's a 140, which means we could... And it's a female, which means we could breed them up. You know what? Croc, you stay there. If I could swim to it quickly and then get back on the croc, we'll be golden. Get as close as I can. Alright, uh, let me on the croc, let me on the croc! Uh, Dinosuchus, let me on you! Uh, can you stop swimming? Thank you. Let me just get rid of the mantas. You did not tame with just the one like I hoped. Great, my goggles broke. Wonderful. Ah, it broke my goggles. Damn it. Which means now I can't see anymore. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm planning on going back to base to restock up on arrows anyway, so we'll um we'll make a new set of goggles or we'll fix the goggles that we have when we get back. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. And there we have it. Max levels of factiness has been tamed. All right, we got that guy. All right, we have to go back and restock on arrows anyway and repair my crossbow because my goggles broke when I was trying to flee from the manta ray, which means now I can't see anything. So what we might do is drop off the Zephactinus that we have, and then we'll go from there. That's what we'll do. All right. While I'm repairing some of this stuff, let me see what we've got for stats on these guys. So this is the female Basilosaur. We've got 36 points into health, 39 points into melee. Not great. 40 points into weight and 41 points into melee. If only those were in the health and the melee, that would have been perfect. 52 points into food. Of course it's got 52 points into food. Let's compare those to the... Where's our male Basilosaur? There it is. All right, you're our, you're our male dude. So let's go ahead and put you here. All right, let's compare you to the male. Put you guys like side by side and whatever. So the male had, so the female that we just tamed had 36 points into health and 39 points into melee. This guy had 41 points into health and 36 points into melee. All right, that's good. This is our female basilosaur, kind of bog standard colors, but we're we'll be good, I guess. There we go. As for the Zephactinus, what were your stats? So this is the 130 that we tamed. 44 points into health, 39 points into stamina, 33 points into melee, and 37 points into weight, and 40, 40 points into food. It's got really good health. What about this guy? 44 points into health? Okay, so the exact same health, only 29 points into stamina, so you've got 10 extra stam, 43 points into food, 56 points into weight, so you've got extra weight, and 52 points into melee. That That's really good. That is really good, actually. So we'll use the max level female, even though you've got less stamina. So basically all we need is a male with decent-ish weight, or health, even. That's literally all we need. We'll drop these guys off for now. All right, hold on. Basilosaur, can I borrow some of that fish so these guys don't go hungry? All right, all fixed, ready to go. We are ready to go back. Mr. Dinosuchus, sir, or Miss Dinosuchus, which I haven't had a name for yet. You've been stomping around my base, and great, we're slot capped, wonderful. You know, we've got plenty of meat. You know, we'll keep the meat inside your inventory. Oh, I thought we were slot capped for a second. All right, let's go ahead and start swimming into the ocean. Let me put the mask back on so we can see a little better. There we go. All right, we should be good. So there's a fact in this like to like to stick to the surface. So if we can find a high level male, that'd be great. We got lucky with that max level female. It has really good melee. Like 51 points into melee. All right, what do we got here? Hot game. All right, 145 female and a 140 male. Okay, we've got a 140 male and a 145 female. What's with all the high levels? Damn. Why did the female have to be a 145? We'll see if we can get both, but if not, then it's whatever. And they're like so close to the base too, which is kind of convenient. Okay, why is it taking so long just to kill a little fish? I don't even think it's fighting back either. I don't even think they're hitting it. We're hitting the male more than we're hitting the female. All right, dolphin, can you please get out of my face? get both, we'll get both. How are they not hitting this stupid fish? Okay, one of them's after me now. And of course, you're the female. Alright, how close are you to being knocked out? You're pretty close, actually. Alright, 
Alright, these guys don't tend to run away, which is good. Of course, that was a miss. That was also a miss. Alright, wait for it. No. Oh, wait. I hit it too soon. I shot too soon. Alright, you should be down and down you go. Awesome. Oh, okay, you get hungry when you do, like, a special move. Okay. Alright, you'll tame right off the bat. So, I'm just gonna give you that one kibble. You're all set to go. That's the female done. There's another 140 female. Okay, where the hell did the male go? Is that it right there? Yeah, I think that's it right there. After that, I'd like to see if I can get the 140 female. How is this guy not hitting that fish? That fish is just minding its own business, and this, this bigger fish is just trying to eat it. Alright, please don't die as I try to knock you out. Alright, I think this guy will go down in this arrow. And down he goes. Awesome. Okay, so I guess sometimes the food drains and other times it doesn't. Hmm. Very interesting. Alright, let me go ahead and uh, put the kibble inside of you. And then I guess I'll let you guys know when this male is tamed up. What, what are you? A Sferna. Alright. And there we have it. Males of Factinus has been tamed. Alright, now that that's done, let's go after this 140 female, which is now fully healed. Awesome. Looks like you might have some good health. We'll have to see what goes on here. Alright, let me shoot you. There we go. And then we basically just do the same thing we do pretty much all the time. 3100 health is better than what we've been getting. Alright, I kind of see the pattern. Yeah, we'll get this last female, and then we'll be good to go. And down you go. Awesome. And it looks like you are getting a bit hungry, so... We're gonna go ahead, put the kibble inside of you. Let you tame up. And there we go! Last one of the episode, tamed. We got a 140 female. Alright, can I ride you, please? Alright, I just wanna see what this, uh... This Shasta sore is all about. What level are you, good sir? There we go. Alright, we're good, we're good. Alright, so, we just tamed up a bunch of Zephactinus, which is basically a great episode. We got really lucky. We got a whole pack of Zephactinus, and I'd like to see if I can get some imprinted ones at some point. Pretty close to the base, too. So, yeah, we'll uh, check out their stats. Every single one of them. Like, we'll review the other two. I think we got four of them all together. Which is better than nothing. And then we'll see, like, which female is best suited for the male that we've tamed. We got three females and a male. So, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so here's the 130, just as a review. 44 points into health. 33 points into melee. 39 points into stamina. 40 points into food. And 37 points into weight. And this is the max level that we tamed with 52 points into melee, 56 points into weight, 29 points into stamina, kind of terrible stamina, 44 points into health, which isn't bad, and 43 points into food. This right here is the 140 female with 51 points into health or melee, only 31 points into weight, 43 points into health, 42 points into stamina, and 41 points into weight and uh, food. And this is the 145. 42 points into health, 44 points into melee. Okay, so the max level, yeah, you're clearly better, the max level. We got some with really good melee. And now, the male. 41 points into health, 49 points into stamina, 43 points into melee. Alright, and 42 points into weight, and 34 points into food. Okay, so we need the max level female and the 140 male. That's basically what we need. Alright, so what we'll do... What we'll do is, um... I'll breed these, like, uh... Maybe we should just get the entire pack. Yeah, we'll get us a fact in this saddle. And then we'll have the others be, like, the pack and whatever. 
we'll see what kind of damage we can do. So let me get a saddle for the Sefactinus, or one of them anyway, and we'll take the Alpha, we'll ride the Alpha, and then we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, we've got the saddle, we're ready to go, see what these guys are capable of. I'm gonna place them just outside the base. Okay, can you open the door for me? Thank you. And then I'll probably, uh, get the, uh, what's it called? That terminal, and then we can start breeding them and whatever for perfect stats. Yeah, the first thing we gotta figure out is these guys are pretty fast. Alright, so there's our Shastasaurus, buddy. We got our pack of five fish, and we're gonna see what we can do against whatever. You guys should be on attack my target. Alright, let's see what we can do against these guys. How much damage do we do with the bonus? 565. We just destroyed that guy. Absolutely destroyed. Let's get this unsuspecting hit. I killed that right away. Let's not go after something that'll die right away. There's another Shastasaurus. These guys seem to be spawning in like hotcakes. There's a 50s effect in this. Let's go after this guy. Absolutely destroyed it. Dunkelosteus, a little bit tougher. Destroyed that. Oh, we got another Dunkelosteus. That's a 217 Shastasaurus, apparently. Alright, that 90 did take a little bit longer, but we did it. Alright, I kind of want to see what level that Shastasaurus is. I think that's an Alpha Moza. That's an Alpha Moza. I don't think we're ready for that yet. I think what we need is an imprinted pack. And then we'll be good to go. So what I might do is send in the croc to go after that Alpha Moza. Alright. Yeah, we're pretty strong, I would say, right now. But once we get some imprinted ones, that's when we'll be super strong. We'll start breeding with these guys at some point, get an imprinted version. For right now, let's get the croc and go after that Alpha Moza. And possibly that Shastasaurus. We'll have to see what goes on there. If it's a high-level female Shastasaurus, I'd be very inclined to tame it. Let's dive down where that Shastasaurus was. If we find the Shastasaurus, we'll find the Moza. The Alpha Moza. We'll see if the Dinosuchus can take care of that. I, I don't trust the effect in this going after that Alpha Moza. There's the Shastasaur, which means the Alpha Moza is just down here. I would like to tame a Moza at some point. There's a normal Moza. Where's the Alpha? That's a regular Moza. Those are two regular Mozas. We are slot capped. Wonderful. Let me just go into meat and just wrap it all. Alright, the Alpha is nearby. Can you stop moving so I can kill you? Thank you. Alright. Where's the Alpha? Yeah, that's it. That's it. There's the Alpha Moza. I knew I'd find it at some point. Alright. Let's just go ahead. Kill this Alpha Moza. We just did 41,000 damage to it. Apparently we're doing, like, all sorts of damage. There we go. We killed the Alpha. And there's just a 130 normal Moza. I will like to tame a Mosasaur at some point. Uh, we are slack capped. We're getting attacked by... There's an Alpha Megalodon. Okay. Bring it! Bring it on, Megalodons! Oh, there's a squid as well. There is a squid as well. It's an Alpha Squid. So we're fighting an Alpha Shark, an Alpha Moza, and an Alpha Squid. No, no, you get back here. You get back here. Got a direct hit on him, too. Ouch. 
We got him. We got him. Ow. Mantis, piss off. Everything's just after me now. Jesus. Alright. Alright, I think we're good to go. An alpha shark, an alpha squid, and then an alpha moza. Alright, there's the alpha moza. I just want to see if... Yeah, we are slot cap like no one's busy. I'll be with you in a second, Dunkle. Look at that. We tamed as a factinus. And we used the croc to take on an alpha shark, an alpha moza, and an alpha squid. So I think that's a pretty good day. A pretty eventful day. I think the the Dinosuchus will be looking forward to a good night's rest now. Or at least a rest. It doesn't have to be a good night's rest, but at least a rest. Great job. Great job, Dinosuchus. Alright, well, we can take off the mask and put our hat back on for now. Alright. We had a pretty eventful episode today. We tamed up a pack of Zephactinus. We... We got this going and... You know, we should probably make the terminal. And then put these guys closer to the dock so we can... I don't know if it'll pick up eggs or not, but it's worth a shot. We are in range. Good. All right. Let me go ahead. Maybe park this effect in this a little bit closer. Not too close. We don't want them to start going on land and whatever. All right. Stop following for a minute. Yeah, they can go on land, which can be a bit... I don't know. All right. I'll breed these up on my spare time. I don't know if these can pick up eggs or not. Behavior, enable mating. Behavior, enable mating. We'll get some imprinted versions and we'll see how that goes. But yeah, with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.